Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Janet and what you guys are watching is my bulletin journal spread for November. What I decided to go for the theme for November was a fall festive feeling. Um, you know, pumpkin pie, you know, fall leaves, knitted scarves, socks, sweaters, you know, you can't say no to that hot cup of coffee or hot cup of tea or hot chocolate or whatever you want to have during this time of year. Did acorn, did a lot of leaves for this month. Um, so I'm just outlining as you saw earlier, I try to show the two pens that I'm mostly using to outline and add little details with. Um, so the, the thick one that I like to use is Paper Mate. Um, I like how uh, the thick the pen is when I'm holding it and how it comes out on paper. Um, it's just very easy to use. It's not hard. I don't have to press too hard on the paper for the ink to come out. And the second pen that I'm using to add like little small details to things or I like writing with is the Sharpie Fine Pen. Um, so again, I'm just doing, just going over in pen over the pencil marks that I did. So this is my November cover page. I kind of got the inspiration from Amanda Rachel Lee. It was her cover page or inspiration from her November spread that she did in 2018. So what I like to do next to the cover page is put a quote. So, the quote that I decided to go with was Autumn, the year's last loveliest smile by William Colin Bryan. So, usually I will do it in pen. I would say I'm pretty decent in calligraphy. But I give myself doubt, so I do it in pencil first, just so I know, like, it will fit. So see, as you can see, I had tried my best in pencil, but it didn't fit how I wanted it, so I erased it. So now I'm just erasing the pencil mark on the cover page, just so when I start coloring, it's not going to be in the way. Um, for the quote, I kind of leave it in pencil, so when I go over it in like pen or mar the markers that I'm using, I know what to outline. So the colors I just show you are, you know, the colors for fall. You know, the red, the orange, the yellowish, the brown. Um, I just got different shades. I show you the name of the pen or the markers that I'm using. They're called Uhuhu. <laughs> I'm sorry if I pronounced that long, wrong, but I will put a link down below for the markers that I'm using and where I got it. So what I like about these markers is that it's dual tip. They have a brush side and then they have a fine tip one. So I like how there's two sides of the markers so the side that you mostly see me using is gonna be the brush side because it makes things so much easier to just color in I don't have to worry about getting a bigger you know the Corolla markers just color everything and you know Corolla they're pretty huge and you know you're bound to mess up with this but with these markers, it's just so easy to use. I like how it has like that fine tip at the end. And then, you know, it kind of brushes out. 
So right now I'm just coloring everything in, giving it details as I'm filling it in. I had really fun doing this spread or this month theme. Um, again, I didn't start doing bullets and journals. Well, I did try, but then I gave up because it was just hard to keep up with. So I was using as my planner was the happy planners. Um, I love how the happy planners were. Don't get me wrong. Like if I could show you what I did to my happy planner, it was a lot. <laughs> but I felt like the happy planners didn't give me so much room and creativity and how I want it to look because they basically have, you know, the boxes made for you already and colors there for you. You can't really color anything yourself. You can only write in different color pens. Um, so I did like that about the Happy Planner. But it didn't, I didn't like how I didn't have much freedom. So that's why I decided to switch because I realized that me as a person, since I used to draw a lot, but I haven't done that in a while. But doing this kind of gives me that creativity again. It makes me feel like I'm drawing, but not really. But it gives me that creativity feeling that I crave for. And I get to freestyle whatever I decide want. Um, again, just adding a little flair to my calligraphy. I felt like the quote was done very plainly. Usually I kind of go all out, but this was just kind of behind and I didn't want to go too fancy. So again, this quote was by William Colin Bryant. I actually love the quote and I do agree that autumn is the last part of the year because you know the holidays and all that everyone's together during Thanksgiving being thankful each for each other and all that so after doing the cover page what I like to do is the calendar spread for the month so right now I'm pretty distracted because I'm not liking the tabs. And as you will see later, I'm going to take out those tabs because they were super bugging me. So again, I like to start off with pencil in case if I end up, you know, messing up. You will see that I did actually mess up and I'm so grateful I did it in pencil than in pen because if I did it in pen I'll be so <laughs> I'll be something else because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So this month I just or calendar spread I did it different than how I usually do it I don't really put them so close together like that what I like to do is keep the boxes spread apart and I want to put any boxes on the you know the book flip or you know where the book opens I usually don't put a box in the middle like that but I just gave it a shot for this month to see how it turns out. Sorry, I finished making the calendar spread in pencil. What I'm kind of do right now on the side is I'm cutting the piece of paper kind of in half. You'll see in a second what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm just cutting the paper right now. And 
and now I'm just tracing the calendar boxes and pen. So even though you do stuff in pencil first and then you go over it with pen, there's still a chance that you can mess up even though you're going over and you're whatever you put down. <laughs> so it's kind of nerve wracking. So I pretty much took my time doing the pen part. So usually what I do is I usually put the month name on top, but I kind of did it different this month. I actually decided to put it on the bottom because I wanted to give more room for me to write the days of the week on top. So I don't like to abbreviate the days of the week. I like to actually spell them out. Sometimes, um... Yeah, I think this. So right now I'm getting my washi tapes I have. So I used to have a whole bunch of them back then. But I kind of gave it to someone and I never got it back. So I got more <laughs> again. So I ordered some on Wish. I also got some off of Amazon. And I got some from Michaels when they were 3 cents each. And I... <laughs> am in love with those that I got from Michaels for three cent each so right now I'm just giving that scarf texture ending just coloring the ends of the scarf to match the other end the colors and then the washi tape that I got is pretty cute so I like to start my calendar spread day with Sunday and end it with Saturday um, makes sense that way because when you look at your phone or the computer and click on the calendar you see the days start with Sunday and it ends with Saturday so I decided to keep that theme whenever I do my calendar spreads so I use another washi tape for the bottom to give it a little border at the bottom for the calendar spread trying to adjust the camera I guess at this point I was showing you pens that I got that I probably use right now I'm just adding little circles to each corner of the box and then write the dates in those circles November spread that Amanda did for this month I was thinking of doing whatever she did for the theme which was Among Us but I decided not to because I kind of had an idea of what I, what I wanted to do for the theme for the month but I did pull this from her video which I did like was to have the goals and the monthly tasks shown on the side of the calendar spread. Um, instead of doing something, I replaced one in the box with notes, one with shop, you know, I kept the shopping list and the gratitude. Because, you know, November is the month of giving and all that, so I decided to keep that in there. Usually after the calendar spreads, I like to do my habit trackers and my mood tracker. So right now I'm kind of getting irritated with the tabs. So <laughs> the monthly tabs. So I took them all off. So I went back to October for reference of my habit tracker. 
um, to see what habits that I'm using or wrote down. So this month I decide to do nine habits. Um, I kind of messed up doing this page, but I kind of winged it and to cover up the blank parts, I put washi tape over it. So it doesn't look too bad with the washi tape, but you know, everybody makes a mistake. No one's perfect in life. So again, I'm doing my calendars. My hand kind of got tired writing the numbers over and over again. And then I had to flip back to the calendar to just make sure like, oh, okay, <laughs> what days, you know, what the day of the month it starts off like Sunday, what day is the last day of the month, which is Monday. So I had to make sure <laughs> that I didn't mess up, you know. You know your numbers, but then when you're writing it over and over again, you kind of do sidetrack and you could mess up. So I try my best not to. Um, I wasn't even doing math in my head, you know, seven, you know, four plus seven is 11, 11 plus seven is 18, <laughs> 18 plus seven is 25. So I usually write up to down or down to up for my dates. So as you see, I'm just being careful. So again, the same theme video that inspired me was Amanda's 2018 November spread, the whole scarf habit track and the mood track. So I did incorporate that in my own planner giving it a little twist like I said I kind of messed up so I kind of winged it I was kind of lazy to add small details to cover up the blank space in between so I just put washi tapes so right now I'm just writing my habits for my last month and just moving it over so mess up right there I thought I was grabbing a light brown marker but instead I got a olive green but I still kind of made it work somehow so I'm not that upset that I kind of grabbed the wrong color but yeah and then yeah so I'm grabbing my washi tapes that I want to use live love laugh and then I'm grabbing the other one that was bigger and thicker just to cover up that big <laughs> blank space so the moon tracker again instead of doing the whole crisscross scarf I just did you know the whole scarf um, touching end to end oh excuse my dogs guys they act like little guard dogs so for the mood tracker I got inspired again from Amanda's video where her mood was basically different scarf patterns so I'm gonna show you what I did for that at the bottom And then usually for my mood tracker, I'll write it on top, but I didn't have room, so I wrote it side to side. Still looks nice. So right now, yeah, so right now I'm doing the mood smile faces, and then I'm doing the patterns and marker colors. I say brown is like 
poopy color, like your poopy moon, like oh, you're having a bad day. While orange is like a bright, happy color, so I did orange as, you know, my happy moon color. And then I'm just adding small little details, you know, the leaf and all of that. Then usually after my mood tracker, what I like to do, see I'm just adding a little color and flare. So after the mood tracker, I like to use these two pages, one page for my playlist for like songs and music that I find for the month and I'm listening to that's catchy. And then next to it are like I write things to check out like movies or shows that I want to watch for the month or um, video games or games or updates that are coming out for the month so I'm basically I'm just doing this red so even though I did the washi tape as my border what I like to do is color the edge of the border that's you know the washi tape doesn't cover in a certain color so you know with the still the fall color I went with the fall color theme so I'm just adding little details kind of messed up there but I made it work so like I said did the playlist I'll usually you know put songs that I'm listening to so recently I don't know if you guys heard it but a couple days ago Ariana Grande's new album came out and I'm in love with it so yeah and then after that what I did was my first week spread for the month so again, what I decided to do for the first week spread was the whole scarf theme and each day of the week had different patterns to the scarf. Um, for my weekly spreads, I like to start off my weekly spread day with Monday and ending it with Sunday. So I did use those uh, well, I did use my washi tape that I did for my calendar spread. It says the days of the week on top. You know, so I put it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I started doing the... So I did Sunday first just to know like oh that's the half mark for the scarf so I split the scarf day you know Saturday and then Sunday in one area or on one scarf so again I'm just doing details right in the days in the brown circles the days of the week and then, yeah, I'm just adding the little patterns to each scarf. The fall colors, the orange and the brown, giving each scarf different designs, but still keeping that same color coordination. Usually I don't do my weekly spreads like different length. I usually keep everything in the same length. But you know, I decided to change it up a little bit. So yeah, if you guys like this video, and would like to do this yourself go ahead and do it you can share it down below or share it on instagram with me i'll put my instagram link down below as well if you decide to get this theme a go 
yeah, it was a lot of fun to do it. Um, I'll probably do my weekly, next week thing, probably on Twitch or something, or record it and post it up next, or by the end of the week. Um, like the next idea or my next weekly thing for the month. Still gonna do the fall design. Just coloring in everything, adding small, small details. And there you have it. That is my November spread. My quote, my cover page, my calendar spread, a little goals and monthly tasks, my habit tracker, my mood tracker, playlist, things to check out, and my weekly spread. I hope you guys like this video. And give it a thumbs up and follow me. Thank you for watching.